Well, Jack Daniels is at it again. This is the 2022 special release, twice barreled American single malt, aged in Oloroso sherry cask. Let's get into it. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Saucy Shane. Welcome back to another whiskey review. This is kind of something new to me. I've never really done it. I definitely had never done a review on American single malt. Hadn't really tried a bunch that I know of. Maybe some have come across my palate in the stores from salesmen. I don't really know. I don't. I know I've tried a lot of different scotches, single malts, but American single malts, I really don't know that I've tried a lot of them. I can't wait to do a full review on this. So I have had this. I've had it for a couple months. I've tried it, and it's definitely probably my favorite finished whiskey of the year. Stay tuned for that video. I'm going to combine a rye and finished whiskey top 10 list, five and five. That's got to get Got to get them compiled together, doing a lot of blinds. Did my top five bourbons. If you haven't checked that video out, check the link in the description box below. It's worth the watch. Give it a thumbs up. If you like these kind of videos, subscribe to the channel, ring that bell for notification. That way you don't miss a single one. 2023, we're going to be packed with some awesome reviews. But we're going to pour this up. This is the Jack Daniels Twice Barreled American Single Malt Aged and Oloroso Cherry Cask. These come in different proofs. I think there's some at 106 proof. Mine is 106.3. I think some's 107 or whatnot. It tells you a little bit about it on the side. American single malt whiskey, Oloro aged in Oloroso sherry cast, crafted from 100% malted barley, twice barreled for a complex taste and boggled straight from the finest Oloroso sherry cast. That's a hard word for old saucy to say. Limited release, special release, whatever you want to call it. Beautiful, beautiful color on this. And I don't know if that means it's technically cast strength. I don't know. Is it? I don't know. It's got a cool little tag on it here. If I can find a picture of this tag, I'll put it up and uh, so everybody can read it. Master distiller Chris Fletcher and his team of whiskey makers crafted this special release of 100% malted barley Charcoal mellowed and twice barreled, first in new American charred oak barrels, then in the finest seasoned Oloroso sherry cask. This special release drips with notes. Oh, I like that. <laughs> this special release drips with notes of chocolate covered nuts and berries with a subtle sherry finish. Jesus. That almost made me moist. This is moist January. I'm kind of moist. But love that color on it legs i know you can't see the legs on this glass but it does it clings to the glass just like a a good barrel strength bourbon whiskey would do starting to trail down the glass now i love that color let's get it on the nose here like i said i have had this before but it has been it's been a couple weeks since i've had it so let's let's get it on the nose and i'll tell you what i think you definitely pick up the maltiness a lot of the Chattanooga whiskeys are, are heavy malt. They're not 100% malt, but, but man, this is, I kind of wish I'd have nosed this before I read that, but it's not dripping with chocolate covered nuts, but it's, it's, it's got some chocolate on it for sure. Chocolate, cherry, cordials, you got the oak, twice barreled, gotta love it, from the finest. Oloroso sherry cask. As it's starting to open up, you get a lot more of the malt. It's kind of pleasant on the nose. Sweet oak on it. That sherry is starting to come through. It's non-age stated. I don't know how long it was, was aged prior to being put in the sherry cask. And don't really know how long it's been aged in the sherry cask. Full maturation. Not real sure. I'd say it's probably seven, eight, nine years old before it's all said and done but with this color i'd say it's at least been over a year in the sherry cast i'd say if you know leave a comment in the comment section below and uh fill me in clue me in here but enough on that nose like i say before we don't just snip it around here we drink it too cheers y'all Yeah, 
gave it so much of an SJ, I got a hand cramp. <laughs> you ever had that happen? Mm. That's definitely a different, different experience. If, you'll, if you know what I mean. It coats the mouth really, really nice. Front to back. You get a lot of wood twice barreled it's definitely twice barreled on my tongue right now first sip of the day it's very pleasurable it actually drinks a little little more proof than 106.3 proof sounds like a radio station 106.3 the jack twice barrel you do get that sherry finish does linger on the back palate on the finish but for the full ride, you get a lot of wood. <laughs> it's not some's cup of tea. It depends on what, you know, I don't know. We're gonna leave it alone. It's still got that classic Jack Daniels Bananas Foster backbone that I get on a lot of Jack Daniels single barrels, a lot of the higher end Jack Daniels stuff, the 10 year, a lot of the stuff's got a little banana backbone to it. And this single malt carries that. Maybe it's the, the malt, maybe it's the barley they use. And I don't know what it is, but I can pick it up on a blind just about every time when it's a Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof or something like that. It just explodes on my palate with bananas. Banana runt, banana fosters, just some kind of banana and this has got a thread of it in there on the palate but it's mostly wrapped in the sherry finish chocolate covered you almost get like a chocolate covered banana vibe from it and not just because I read that on there it, it kind of you know, when I first sipped this before I even read that tag when I first cracked this open way off camera when I first got this you do get a lot of chocolate on it There's a lot of a lot of the malt single malts malty, heavily malted uh, bourbon whiskeys that you see out there, they are chocolatey. And when you finish it with that sherry cask, it's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful pour. I'd like to find something comparable to this to do a blind. I really don't know what it would be. 2023, we might be seeing a lot of more single malts. I think Jack Daniels is actually putting a 90 proof version of this travel exclusive leader bottles so you'll be seeing those out in airports and and around about but they're actually going to start doing a 90 proof version of this travel exclusive that'd be pretty cool i think eventually it'll be part of the lineup maybe with the single uh, with the triple mash and the bonded series it'd be pretty cool but i'm gonna rank this i'm gonna take one more sip and i'm gonna rank it it's actually really good and it opens up really nice hair tied up in a little twisted bun and it's trying to come out back here one of these days I'll let it out one of the advent calendar videos I had it down it's gotten pretty long since uh, but it gets it gets a little hot on the neck even right now it's it's about 60 degrees and at the end of January here so it's that's pretty crazy I don't forgot what I was gonna rank this I'm gonna take one more sip we're gonna finish this mm. I'll say one more little sip to cheers y'all at the end of this video but we're gonna rank this my first time really that i know trying american single malt the definitely first time i've ever reviewed one jack daniels twice barreled american single malt agent oloroso sherry cast gets a score of me 8.5 and that's pretty good i think uh, the more i talk you get a lot more of the that banana wood aspect that you get on the Jack Daniels single barrel burr proof. Like I said, that banana note is, that thread is right through that palette. It's, high, it's hard to hide it. Jack Daniels does a good job. And I give it an 8.5. Very good. I know it's a special release. If you see it on the markets, 70, 80, 90 dollars, I would grab it. I wouldn't go no more higher than that, but if you do like the special releases, and depending on what you, your budget is, you know, you might go a little higher. It's definitely different 
Jack Daniels ain't never done nothing like this before. You've seen a little bit of it in the triple mash, but as far as this, actual 100% malted barley aged and Oloroso sherry cask, they've done a good job. I cannot wait to see what they put out this year in 2023 for the special release. Only time can tell. But guys, like I said, if you like these kind of videos, smash that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, ring that bell for notification. You won't miss a single upload. But I love y'all and thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. And until next time, stay saucy, but don't get too saucy. Drink responsibly and share with friends. Cheers. Love y'all.